see if this shows up on camera. Hey YouTube, this is Prepro2717. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, uh, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Just been super busy. And uh, I finally have some time right now. Everybody's kind of out of the house and I'm just left here with the dogs. So I thought I'd take a few minutes to shoot this real quick. Uh, this video is about um, rechargeable batteries and this little solar setup that I bought from Costco. Uh, actually, a lot of stuff here is are things that I bought from Costco. I think I even, I bought this uh, Motorola a pair of these talkabouts from Costco. That was a few years ago. Uh, these N loop rechargeable bat batteries, N loop or N a loop, or I don't know how you pronounce it, but there it is. Uh, they're made by Sanyo. And I also bought this GoPro um, solar setup. It, comes, it came with a solar panel, a um, little rechargeable battery pack and then it came with this external speaker and a few cables to plug plug it into uh, things that you might need uh, to recharge so we'll start with uh, these end loop batteries uh, so far I'm really impressed with them they uh, they come to you already charged and so they're ready to go right out of the right out of the package they come with this little wall charger and all it is is a wall charger. It plugs into the wall, that's it. What I would have liked to have seen is something that you could also plug into the car. So that kind of would have been nice, but uh, it isn't that big of a deal because I have these little battery packs where I could charge things up in the car, and we'll get to that in a second. So what I've done is we were buying a lot of batteries. We have, uh, we have three kids of our own and two foster kids, and it's just inevitable. You're going to get they're going to get gifts that take batteries, video games, uh, toys, battery uh, battery powered toys. So we were we were going through batteries uh, actually pretty quickly, and it was sickening when we sat back and started adding up how much we were spending on alkaline batteries. So uh, I've been passing these things at Costco every time we'd go there. We're there almost once a week, and I'm thinking I should get some of those and try them out. I should get some of those and try them out. Well. That was uh, maybe almost a year ago, and we've just about replaced every battery-operated uh, item in our house with these rechargeable batteries, whether it's television remotes or kids' games or flashlights or um, these Motorola talkabouts when I'm not using the rechargeable battery that comes inside those. All of the alkaline batteries are just about out of our house with the exception of 9-volt batteries for our smoke detectors. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Sanyo makes a 9-volt rechargeable. I'll have to check on that. But they, but they do make, what I don't have sitting here is uh, they make a little sleeve uh, that you can put the AA battery inside of that will uh, give it the diameter of a C battery or a D battery, so two different sleeves. And you can use it in your uh, flashlights or whatever it is that would take C or D batteries. So I thought that was kind of a cool thing, but we don't have a whole lot of that stuff here, so we just uh, have not bought that yet. I don't know if we'll even bother because uh, we don't have anything that takes C or D batteries with the exception of a gigantic mag light that I never use. So not that big of a deal. Um, I use these batteries. The, well, the, first of all, these chargers, they're made to take the double A's. You can charge the double A's. And this is the exact same charger just with the triple A's sitting in it. If there were double A's, they would sit on these contact points there. So you're able to charge double A's or triple A's uh, with this same charger, so that was kind of cool, and it actually the pack actually came with double A's and triple A's in the package. Uh, and after a while, I don't I don't know if it was uh, a matter of a lot of people buying them up, so it was very fairly popular. But Costco started bringing in these packs that were just the batteries, and they would come with. Oh, try not to get this wrong. I believe it was eight double A batteries and four five excuse me five triple A batteries because the triple A's. They come in a little, these little containers, little plastic holders, which is nice for when you go backpacking. You don't have a bunch of loose batteries wandering around in your backpack. You're not chasing those around. But the triple A's, they come. It's the same exact case. I'll show you. They just sit differently in there. So if you take the triple A's out and you replace them with double A's, 
the double A's sit across the triple A's sit this way so they're able to put four across and then a, a spare one down there or just make it so that it holds five instead of four so um, I believe I want to say 20 bucks is what they were charging for the batteries uh, for eight double A's and four triple A's or five triple A's um, I'll have to double check on that but um, I'm pretty sure that's what it was but when I when I'm thinking about how much money we're just throwing away when it comes to alkaline batteries it was well worth it so that's the Sanyo end loops and so far we're liking them I like them a lot I mean we're recharging them I don't notice any uh, memory in the battery in that they seem to charge up and last the same amount of time each after each charge uh, you know they're not going to last forever I'm pretty confident of that but uh, so far we're getting a lot of use out of them and I'm not complaining too much so uh, it's especially with having so many of them we have a bunch of them sitting kind of on standby as soon as something goes dead I'll load up the charger plug it into the wall forget about it for a couple of hours uh, I can't I can't remember exactly how long it takes I haven't timed it but um, um, it was they were charging up relatively quickly so I would I've been pretty pleased with it so far so that's the San Yuan loops uh, I I recommend them you know I, I don't do a lot of recommendations I just kinda tell you guys what what I'm doing and what we find is working for us and hopefully that information is helpful to you guys in making a decision for what's gonna work for you but uh, so my AA batteries I use for my GPS my um, talkabouts and I also so with this goal zero deal what happened was it came with the it came with the solar panel and if you, you know, I'll show you the specs on it if you can see that so it's a seven watt sol solar panel monocrystalline so it folds out and it has this little pocket oh there's my little cable just kind of looking for that um, so it has this little pocket you can put extra cables in or your device if you're charging a device you can put the device inside this little pocket it has a, a hole here stitched in there so that you can run your cable out and plug it in while it's charging so you can have it attached to your backpack or wherever you're going to put it so that's kind of a nice, nice feature. You don't have to ha you don't have to fiddle around with uh, where your device is. So what happens is you have this solar panel, and they give you a couple of cables with it. So I'm dropping stuff. So they give you a uh, basically a 12 volt DC socket, and this will plug in right there, and you can charge anything that. Uh, that takes that plugs into your cigarette lighter so I thought that was kinda cool I don't actually use it very often but I have it just in case I need it um, also with the we'll get into this little battery pack real quick it comes with a little battery pack they call it their guide zero or their guide 10 excuse me it's goal zero is the company guide 10 is this little battery pack and it comes with four double A batteries now their batteries are okay. I, I prefer the the end loops over the Goal Zero batteries, but again, I haven't done a side by side taste test with them, so I couldn't tell you if that's just in my head or if I just like blue better than their design. I don't know. Anyway, so it comes with this little um, cable on the back, so you can put a carabiner and hang it on your pack or whatever you need to do with it. And on the oh sorry, out of camera. So it has a switch on here that's to turn the pack on green is going to tell you that you're charged up and then it'll change colors um, when it's red your batteries are about done so it has it also has a flashlight okay so you, if you have this in your pack you can use this as a little flashlight when you're in your tent or whatever you can you know it's a not a very powerful light I don't know if you can see that but, but it's just a single little LED kind of a nice little feature I don't use it very often but uh, it's there if you need it it also has uh, a little outlet there a little plug 
for your solar panel. So when you want to charge this battery pack up, you, they supply you with this little cable. You plug it in there, and then the other end goes here. They have it. They have it labeled. They have it labeled there, guide 10, right up here at the top. Let me bring it up to you. So you have your 12 volt for your little um, cigarette lighter DC socket. You have your guide 10 for plugging your battery pack into, and then you have a USB out also. So let me show you that. So now you can plug in anything that takes a USB cable. Like um, for me, I use, of course I don't have it sitting here. I'll charge my phone with it, or I'll charge an iPod, my iPod with it. So you can pretty much charge up anything that you would uh, normally plug into a USB. Um, what I did was I ended up running my battery completely dead on my HD7, my Windows phone, and I plugged the plugged it into this solar panel and set it over on the windowsill, and it was on a pretty overcast summer day and it took uh, about an hour and a half to two hours to completely charge my battery on my phone which I thought wasn't bad for a little seven watt uh, solar panel so I was I was uh, okay with that performance you know we're again we're talking about something that I'm just going to take backpacking and it's not going to it's not going to need to run a bunch of lights or or charge anything major it's just little things convenience things um, you know it's kind of nice to have a not have to worry about carrying a ton of extra batteries if you're going to be on a prolonged trip you can just charge up uh, a few a couple you bring a couple of sets and charge up one while you're using the other or however you decide to use it so that's the solar panel so far I'm pretty happy with it in this little pack it also came with this uh, external speaker um, and this will you can plug your iPod or your phone in and you can play music for the kids I'll plug the iPod in and let the kids watch movies on it uh, I don't take this backpacking very often because I like to go lightweight and not that this is heavy necessarily, it's just bulky and I could use that back that room in my pack for things that actually matter. Um, but anyhow, it has uh, this has an audio output so you can piggyback another speaker onto it if you wanted to. Uh, it has this little port here that's for charging and they give you a cable for that somewhere right there. So you can plug that into your USB and you can charge that with your, you can either charge it with your um, solar panel or you can use the USB on your battery pack, plug that in and you can actually, I've used this to charge up my phone. And what I've noticed is on, on four uh, AA batteries, I can charge my phone about three times before it uh, drains these batteries. So. They actually this this is a this particular battery pack I believe is only let's double check here yeah it's only a half amp output and they actually make one that's one amp so you can charge up uh, you know things that are going to take a little bit more juice to charge up so I I'm actually what happened was they uh, I bought this one initially this is the one that came with the set and I got a letter in the mail from Goal Zero saying that they were having some issues with uh, um, with something inside when the, when people were plugging the solar panel in the battery pack was getting really hot uh, in this area this is where the circuit board is is right in this area so they just said throw it away and we'll send you a new one so then they sent me a new one this one was working just fine for me so I didn't I didn't throw it away now I have two battery packs and I just, my plan is to just not plug this one into the solar panel, which I have no problem with. I'll just use it as a, an, as an extra power supply. Um, so what I'm going to do is probably take this one apart um, and change the resistor so it gives me a, a, a one amp output rather than the half amp that it was designed to do. We'll see how that works out. I'll let you guys know when that happens. They make a lot of stuff for... Um, longer trips uh, looks like they have like a base camp power supply they have bigger solar panels but for the things that I would use it for mainly backpacking lightweight backpacking uh, this stuff works great so that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about today the goal zero stuff I'm pretty happy with it we use it every day 
I, I'm, I can't think of a day since we bought it that we haven't used it to charge something. I do a lot of driving, so I bring a couple, I bring one of the battery packs and uh, maybe a couple of packs of batteries, uh, just in case, you know, I never, you never know. So I bring it, I bring it with me, I have it in the car all the time. So I have my kids, uh, my son likes to watch his little movies on the, on the iPod, and I'll just put the iPod inside this shock cord, and so the screen is sticking out. And he can fold the speaker over like that, and he can watch his movies. That's kind of what we've been using it for. Um, and there's just, there's so many different uh, uses for it. So you guys might have a, a different idea of what you would use something like that for. I just wanted to take a few minutes and show you a few things that we've been using for the past year. And it's been working well for us. So I hope this, I hope you guys got some information that's useful to you. And I will talk to you guys next time. Take care.